We did it, Jackie! We fucking made it! <sighs> I guess we did. My medical diagnostics indicate that Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Take us to a Ripper dock now! Apologies, but that will not be possible. Our itinerary has been pre-arranged and paid for in advance. I am not at liberty to alter it. Fuck your liberty! Do what I say! It's okay, V. It's gonna hold out. I suggest you try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. It's gonna be all right. You'll see Misty, your mom, everyone you love. Jackie, don't close your eyes. <sighs> Misty. I she know. She always knew. provides for the disposal of passenger remains free of charge. I merely require a destination. Just give me a sec, will ya? Mr. Wells's remains, where shall I take them? He'd want to be with his family. Mr. Wells's closest blood relative is Guadalupe Alejandra Wells, proprietress of the El Coyote Coho Bar. I will make sure to deliver him safely. Mr. Deshawn awaits you in room number 204. See you in the major leagues, Jack. This number is temporarily unavailable. Please leave a message. So you are never gonna guess what happened. Dex had a hit put on me. Took a bullet, I died, I came back. All good until I realized I had a time bomb wedged in my brain. Oh, it feels like a goddamn movie plot. I got no idea what happened to you, where you are, but hang tough, chica. All oh, right, uh, and I met Johnny Silverhand. Long story. Doubt you two get along. Always could smell bullshit a mile off. B, good to hear you. Finally, been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Call in to offer my condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences? Ay, Jesus Cristo, V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo.
pool table, we got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall? V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? One mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when... when Jackie fell. Let's just say... Things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beer would be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. Could help you with that? Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. Want to take part in the ceremony, but... Want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago, he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. Ivy. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well... Human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but... Just never got together. Till you're back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but... That's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. 
told me he'd take a bullet for me, in an instant, even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man, with dreams, ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. <laughs> he was so psyched. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times, always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Oh, Jackie. Is that a, a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen.
And an aquarium? It used to be tacos. And taco was? Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Nice still. Taking this, yeah, perfect for Jackie. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. Jack, pure and simple. True memento, this. will be fitting. Where are you going? Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So? Shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... 
packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. I'll see you at the Coyote then. My deepest condolences. He was a fine boy. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. Hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. Thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It feels like it happened a century ago. At another time, in another place. Jackie saved my life. And then, years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. 
Loyal to a fault. An honorable man. He placed principles first and stuck hard to them. Always hungry for more and never gave up. Not once. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He always knew what he wanted and took it without asking. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. It made him who he was, but most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he, he didn't overthink things, he just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching, bet just about now he's flipping them all the bird. Everyone saw Jackie as a grinning charmer who saw the good in everyone, everything. They were wrong. Jackie Wells was a hell of an ambitious tomb who never gave up and whose drive cost him his life. But he did in life what he said he'd do. Reached for fortune and fame. No fear in his eyes or heart. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Chum. He feared no one and wasn't afraid. Lived life to the fullest. Rest easy, Chum. A Haywood kid with a hell of a drive. Rest easy, Chum. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. <coughs> Poured you another? For Jaquito? Weird, being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot where he always used to sit. Poor. For Jackie. Amen, sister. Campos all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I'll have another. he'll be as torn up after Have as Asia. many as you want. Oh, Chica. Don't go start in something, eh? Not today. I'm just still in that garage, mentally. I just need a sec. 
Viva la raza! A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. <laughs> you sure? Jackie'd kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, be. Aquí te vas a sentar en la mera mazacuata. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre. I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God and stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the beating happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. Jackie, did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took him into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah, I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. Think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. All right, why not? To Wells! May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Aye, right, give me a break. All right, let's go. Gonna miss him. I already do. <laughs> Me too, chica. <sighs> Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Ah. Hey! This number is temporarily unavailable. Please leave a message.
So, I went to your funeral. That sounds so weird to say, right? Mama Wells, well, her heart's broken, but she's hanging in. She's tough. A lot of people showed, actually. Campo Orta sent someone, too. The guy did read from a card, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, there was a... There was a lot of respect. Morris. Wish you could have seen it, Jack. Sure you would have liked it. I, uh... Talked to Misty. We were at your place. That mandala you made? It was total shit. But, uh... Misty appreciated it. Maybe me a little too. So... Nice work. 